All right, let's come back. I didn't want to put both videos with um um what is it called? What's the people call the Jenners in them? Them lying Jenners, child. Ky Ky Kylie Lily. That's what her name need to be. Lily Jenner. <laughs> um. Okay, so we go to Rhode Island. Newport with the girls from New York City. They're talking about how Newport is really like Palm Beach in the north. It's very shishi, very, you know, stuck up, snobby, whatever. Completely opposite of what Leah loves, right? Um, so they're all going to each have a room. It's it's uh, Richard's birthday. Um, and they, you know, feel like make sure that we're cool with Dorinda. She's probably still dealing with some things. It's Richard's birthday. And, you know, they showed her doing her house at the beginning. And then um, on the bus ride there, Leah asked Ramona, can her sister come? When she says she has a seven, a seven month old, I don't know if she's bringing her sister or her, her, the baby, but she was like, you know, um, first Ramona went with her first gut and she was like, no. And then so the girl was like, um, you know, she's, she's, she's cool to hang out with. She's, you know, you know, pleading the case for her sister, right? And Ramona's like, you know, when I get girls together, I like them. I, I bring them together. I don't want any new personalities. Understandable. Um, they arrive. Ramona, Ramona immediately orders two dozen oysters, which I'm like here for all of that. The, the vibe was the best. The, the place looked really nice. The shores, everything. It was really a vibe. I love, 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 love stuff like that. Um, Ramona... Um, Ramona says, um, I don't know, like she's going back and forth about allowing Leah's sister to come um, down to or up to Rhode Island. And my thing is, you know, I, I was with I, I agreed with at least after you said yes. And then how many of you I've done this? I've done this so many times. And it was before I realized that you could be you could say no and be OK with it. And and be okay with it right be okay with saying no be okay with saying no when you get into a place where you're people pleasing and stuff like that you tend to say yes before and then you think about it and then you regret it for the rest of the time but after you invite a person you can't keep rescinding going back rescinding going back inviting rescinding inviting rescinding it's 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 messed up um, if you didn't want her to come, you should have said no and been done with it. No matter how much Leah whined about it. No, I've already had this plan. You waited to spring this on me in front of a group of people. So I feel kind of pressured. I understood everything Ramona was saying. The only thing is you said yes first. You can't rescind it. That is messed up for you to do. It's, it's really messed up for her, for her to rescind it. Like, you regretted it and but now Ramona she can't even say like I really didn't want her I didn't I really don't want her to come but you know I let her come well you shouldn't have done that especially if you're going to keep saying little things and then start being passive aggressive and then now start targeting me for all of your judgments and that's exactly what Ramona did um so Ramona and so Tinsley they start going across around the table and Luann was like yeah I don't see a problem with it Dorinda was like I don't see a problem with it Torrent De, um, Tinsley said I don't see a problem with it it was really Elise and um Elise really didn't say anything it was really Sonia that was like no uh, uh no and I understand that first of all I'm on a girl's trip. I don't know who this is. Can I really let loose? Who is this person? I don't want this person. But it turns out that Leah is the one who's the judgmental person. I was like, girl, relax. Anyways, Leah calls Sarah and she tells Sarah that to come on, Ramona would love to meet you. She didn't tell her, of course. She didn't tell her all of the other foolishness that happened. Um, you know, to get her to invite her. Um, but Ramona says that she feels pressured and you could tell that she did, but and that and immediate you could tell that she immediately regretted it. Anyways, they go to dinner, they have this beautiful clam bake. Um, it looks really nice. The the, the just the, the ambiance is just beautiful and it's just a beautiful time but Leah has been drinking because she has this issue with the PETA guy where I guess they fooled around and then the next day he was acting funny and she started acting funny with him and she's saying there's a part of her that gets turns into a crazy bitch so she showed him that side and now she feels bad and so she had been drinking 
the whole time on the way up there just knocking back drinks and um she started acting crazy and then luann and ramona and sonia were talking and they were like yeah it, luann said at first i thought it was cool but then i was thinking about it it is a last minute invite and i i feel the same way it's last minute you should have told me you know when i sent the invites oh this is great do you think my sister would be able to come but now now you've said yes She's told her sister, and now you're rescinding. No, Ramona, you can't do that. You should have said no, and I, I hope this is a lesson for her to say, you know, when I when I say no, I mean no. If I didn't want her to come, you should have went with your first mind. But she was trying to people please. She was. And she said she felt pressure, but immediately she changed her mind. And you hate when you do that. I, I've done it plenty of times. When I, I say yes to something, I'm like, fuck, I, don't, I didn't even want to fucking do it. You know what I mean? That's what it is. So they start drinking at the clam bake and Leah starts acting crazy. That one thing I don't like is when people get drunk and she gets like, um, she was reminding me going around that table, sitting on everybody's lap. She was reminding me of Gretchen when Gretchen, when, when, um, they said they were going to get Gretchen white girl wasted and make her and have her make a fool out of herself and how she was acting Tamra and doing all that stuff. That's what Leah was doing. I can't stand when, why do you have to get all aggressive? Where does all this aggression from? I know that alcohol it's fire water but it's like god damn what girl just relax why are you doing so doing so much but she's just acting out how she's feeling and it's it's embarrassing i was embarrassed for her but they were making drinks and she was like what this tastes like water it's not enough liquor in here and then ramona is like girl no it's only one shot of vodka in there that's all you need for right now she was like no put two shots of vodka in here she was like no you don't need that girl you already drunk and it already seems like ramona's already irritated because she's done something that she ha doesn't want to do so she kind of is to me was picking on uh leah and, and just making these little remarks about her. And then, so she was like, just leave her alone. Um, you know, um, and she goes, I'm your, she said, stop, stop mothering her and stop monitoring her because you're doing the most and it's not, and it's going to make a, for a bad trip. And just like Dorinda said, this girl is 20 years younger than us. We should be really trying to guide her and not really try to judge her because you guys are not too far from this your behavior just a ep two or three episodes ago you guys were behaving like co complete buffoons and now all of a sudden you're reserving all this judgment for leah it's not fair and it's and she's drunk as hell and then ramona says something about her being a recovering alcoholic and we're like girl tizzy was like she's not a recovering alcoholic she just stopped drinking she's not a recovering she's not stop saying that she was like well, well then why would you stop drinking because she chose to stop drinking for however long she said it was nine years at first she said it was seven then she came back and said no actually it was nine years um, so Ramona go, Ramona, t Sonia tells Ramona, you need to just tell Leah, no, it's too late. She didn't already invited her sister anyways. So she was like, what am I going to do? Get kicked out of Rhode Island? What are they going to do? Cause they were acting like, you know, you know, act a certain way, you know, behave a certain way. And, um, Tinsley and Dor Dorinda were like, um, they're being kind of messed up with Leah and, um, you don't know what's going on with Leah. You know, her sister is probably really nice. She's going to be nice. Don't worry about it. It's, it's just whatever. And then so Leah starts acting crazy. She's going around just doing the most. She's doing too much. And I was embarrassed for her. I could, if you're not drunk along with her, it's like how Elise was like, uh, -uh girl, this is a mess. You look a mess when well, you're not drunk and people are drunk. They look a mess. If you're drunk with them, you're seeing the same blurred vision. So everybody's crazy and it's okay. But Leah was out of control. And she says, I don't know why I'm being held to a standard that you guys don't hold yourselves to. You guys were just peeing in cornfields. You guys were just saying in front of uh, everybody that I, I'm not an accessory. I shave my pussy. I don't shave my pussy and all this other stuff. Just out of line and you can't to me i i understood like how are you judging leah and y'all really are just like this like just like this but when you see it when you step out of stuff and you look into it and you're like oh do i look like that but that's not gonna change ramona and sonya's behavior i'm sure they're gonna be drunk four more times five more times before we get to the end of the season leah and ramona um they walk away to the side and she's like you know i really i really um I really wanted to 
um, tell you that I, I, I want your sister. I want to meet your sister another time. And this is like, she was like, oh, no, bitch. I've already invited her. I already told her I'm not telling her nothing else. And so Lee, Luann is having another conversation. She was like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. Do I act like this? Honey, roll the clip. They roll the clip. Luann tripping down some stairs, falling in bushes. Yes, girl, you do act like this. Y'all act like this. And that's the crazy part of the reason why it's wild that you guys are acting like this or judging leah in this way it's so crazy so in the morning they have coffee on the beach which was a complete scene i loved it i was like yes luann was out there stretching i loved it and then dorinda walks down to the beach with her coffee and her cell phone it was just a vibe i was like yeah i don't know what made me when i saw that i was like yes i need to be there i need to be right there that was such a vibe in the morning just to get up and walk to the beach with your cup of coffee and your cell phone I was here for it. I was all about it. So Dorinda calls Leah and she was like, girl, she was like, how do you feel? She was like, I feel great. Um, Leah goes, okay, I'm coming out. She was like, no, I'll come up there. She's like, no, I'm coming out. So Leah comes out. She looks at me. She's in a rope. She was like, girl, let's go in the water. It's early in the morning, right? So they like putting their feet in the water. It was a vibe to me. I was like, yes, I felt all of that. Then running to the water. I loved it. I loved it. So Elise um, goes to Ramona and Sonia's up little con, little bungalow or whatever they got going on. And she was like, you know, she comes in judging. She was like, girl, um, yeah, I know. I, I woke up at a regular time. I wasn't drinking last night. Girl, you are on vacation. You know what, Elise? You can't come next. I just thought about it like, girl, you can't. This was your try. You can't come if you're going to be sober and then be talking about everybody the next day. That's not what we're doing here. We're not doing that here. We And that, that, and just like um, Dorinda said, I don't want to be around the police. I don't want to be around the cops. Get that shit out of here. Get out of here. So she came in on some BS, right? And so she says, um, you know, I really, I like Leah, but I want her to leave the crazy side to her younger friends, right? So Elise starts mimicking Leah in the car. And what did we what did we gather from someone mimicking someone from when Kenya was mimicking Ta Tanya, right? Is that somehow you know that they're going to be a target later, right? Because why, why are you mimicking her? Why do you have her down already? You really don't really know her that well? How are you mimicking her so well? You've been watching, you're observing her, so she's your target. This is, this is, you're going to be her judge, right? I was like, uh, uh, I, I wrote Elise the judge. They go and they pick up everybody. They're going to, I don't know, um, some bar or something. It's early. It doesn't, I don't know. It's probably not as early. It is probably just overcast. But um, Dorinda goes, I don't think um, anybody should be giving relationship advice. Because they're sitting on the stairs and Elise goes, do you feel okay? And she was like, yeah, I feel great. And she, to Leah. And Leah's like, yeah, I feel great. She was like, even after last night, just all of these weird questions. I was like, ugh. It really, it really irritated me. And then she was like. Um, and you wonder why men don't want to mess with you anymore because look at how and she was like girl and then then Leah was like being sarcastic she's like of course I love feeling hangover being hungover that's really the state of mind that I really want to be in I really want to be a drunk blithering idiot all the time I really do and she's like you do she didn't say drunk blithering idiot all she said was I want to be like this all the time but she was being sarcastic and she was like you do and she was like girl no of course not like you know girls shut the fuck up and then when they get in the car she tells Dorinda what she said Dorinda goes huh, at least is not one to give relationship advice girl don't even take nothing from her and then she tells her in the little store that they were in what if your daughter don't you have a daughter? What if your daughter saw you like this? What if your daughter was like this? What would you do to your daughter? Bitch, who the fuck are you, number one? You don't know me that well, and why are you bringing my daughter into this? Now, that deserves the, the response. When you start, now, now you're bringing my kid into something that doesn't have anything to do with my kid in order for you to c continue to judge me? Out of here with that. Out of here. I didn't like, like that. Elise starts walking over to, uh, to Leah. Leah was like, give me give me some space, homegirl. You need to back up because you're doing the most. And don't mention my daughter again. That's none of your business. I don't know you that well. That's none of your business to be bringing up my daughter. And she was like, okay, well, you know. And then Dorinda makes her way over there. I said, here come Dorinda. Dorinda sits over there and she sits next to, to Leah. And she tells, she points at Elise and she goes, um, 
you need why are you in her business i said yes and that's how you do and i said when when dorinda started making her way around to sit next to, to leah i knew that she was coming over there to defend her and that's why they are getting along with the, the way that they're doing and she says um i don't want to be around the police stop all of that this is a judgment-free zone we we do our thing we have a good time so what are you doing and she says we should be guiding her not chastising her we're older than her we should not be over judging her like you guys have not done this before and that's the problem that i do not like with adults i know that i'm a full-fledged adult but i do not like adult behavior or elder behavior towards people who are younger because you 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 get amnesia all of a sudden and then you become the judge like who the fuck are you y'all was just peeing in cornfields had your whole vagina out for if they didn't blur it out your whole shit would have been out on bravo you know what i'm saying like girl um she said we should be guiding her and then so what happened after that what happened yeah and so then ramona goes um Ramona turns around, she goes, she didn't even apologize for last night. <laughs> she was mad still. She didn't even apologize. And she was like, well, you know, she was like, what are you guys talking about over there? She was like, you didn't apologize. She was like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to make you feel bad. And she was like, I blacked it all out. I blacked it all out. This is Ramona. Luann was like, girl, you didn't black nothing out. You blacked out because you was drinking just as much martinis as everybody else girl don't put that on her and then she was like well you know i i'm sorry that i trigger your childhood trauma and even um leah starts to cry now she feels bad for just getting drunk and getting out of line now I, I okay she can apologize she could say hey i'm sorry i got out of line i was dealing with some stuff whatever the sister thing let it go even uh, even elise everybody's like after you said yes don't rescind it and she's already told the girl yes just leave it alone you're gonna make it awkward or whatever and so leah goes i always apologize if i do something wrong she was and then so luann goes L girl don't don't think that you triggered any of her childhood trauma that bitch was drunk she blacked out i'm not gonna even let that bullshit go get out of here with that i'm not gonna even let that go you're not you're trying to make that girl feel bad you didn't black out girl and but to ramona's point she did deal with a drunk family her family was there were a bunch of drunks and it was violent her father was abusive but i don't think i mean you can't tell somebody what they can and cannot be triggered by but based on what she demonstrated it was more of a being annoyed that you agreed to do something that you didn't want to do have you ever done that you agreed to do something that you that you didn't want to do and now you got an attitude with the person that you agreed to it with you got you got the attitude because you did something that you went against yourself so now you mad it's too late um luann said i'm not i'm not letting ramona get over on on that girl with that bs and that was pretty much it for the episode and we're gonna see it's gonna be continued ramona tells um leah you know maybe leah goes you know this is who i am maybe you just don't like me she was like well maybe i don't and then so but before that ramona goes well we're i really like you and that's a good thing i'm glad that has ramona has ramona been on that shit like this is my show she said that i think she did say that was that ramona or vicky Ram has ramona got that oh i'm the og housewife kind of mentality about her i don't think she does this is my show i haven't got i haven't gotten that from her yet but she's been she's an original she has not left the show did ramona ever no ramona's never left the show huh i'm trying to think she's never left the show and but i don't think she's ever verbalize like this is my show i'm the queen of this show i don't think she's ever done that correct me if i'm wrong anyways guys um let's go um let's get down in the comments um forbes knew she wasn't a billionaire to begin with that's 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 what i'm saying that is exactly what i'm saying y'all really your credibility is crazy y'all credibility is crazy anyways y'all take care of each other protect your energy we'll get down in the comments have a good weekend peace i might be down here tomorrow peace